Hi, this is John Broadhead with Roland Systems Group, and we're here at the NAB Show. We're launching our VC1 Series Video Converters. They're unique in a number of ways, but just four quick points. First of all, we're calling them lossless, and that is because what you put into them is what you get out. You'll see in a moment that that's not the case with every converter that's out there. The next one is 3G. It supports full 3G 1080p at, uh, with level A or level B. The other key factor with all of these is the audio embedding and de-embedding. Often uh, in converters, you'll have one that embeds it, but it won't de-embed it, or opposite way. So this, uh, our converters have both ways uh, built right in. The last uh, but not least point that's significant is the build quality. And uh, you will see that the connectors are connected right to the chassis. They're not relying on the PCB board to hold them in place. So it, it allows for plugging in and out many times without there being a failure. Also, two millimeter aluminum, really rugged, metal, solid. It doesn't get too hot. Uh, radiated technology uh, within it helps dissipate the, the heat very well. So we have four models we're showing at NAB. The uh, SD I to HDMI, um, full audio embedding, de-embedding. We've got the reverse, HDMI to SDI, uh, again, audio de-embedding and embedding with throughs, very convenient on a number of levels. We have the DL unit right here, very powerful. It's bi-directional between SDI, HDMI, back again with full audio embedding, de-embedding, but also key in that is built-in frame sync uh, to take from uh, external reference as well as audio and video delay. Now, now video delay, that's unique. So that can be delayed by up to four and a half frames independently of each other. Great for syncing uh, various cameras together or syncing displays that have different latency. Great little utility box here. Uh, last but not least, coming out in the summer is the SC, the scan converter. This is an awesome unit that does SDI, HDMI, RGB, component, uh, and composite analog uh, conversion as well as scaling uh, up and down and, and some frame rate conversion as well, all built into one box with reference as well. So great uh, lineup of four units. But uh, one of the key points is lossless. What we have here is a ramp. Uh, and on the screen, you may see a little bit of uh, scan rate uh, lines just because of the lighting and frequency here. But you'll get the idea. A ramp, a nice test pattern. We have a source image uh, coming in. Uh, and what we have is uh, the waveform. And you can see in the original source image, we have the, the blacks, the below blacks and the above whites. So the super black, super white. If we move to the Roland unit, now we're uh, inputting that image in and testing it again for what's coming out of the Roland unit. And uh, we see there's no change in that waveform. If we move to a brand A, you can see this is a competitive brand that has, in fact, a very different color space. So that's why you see a completely different waveform there. If we move back to the source image, now let's check another uh, uh, brand B. And you can see, if you watch carefully here, you can see that the below blacks and above whites disappear. Uh, and if I switch this back to the original, and I'm gonna hit a white pattern here, um, and when I do that, you can see, as I wipe down in the very far regions here, you can see a line come down. I'm wiping between the two. When I do that, you can see a line come down where the whites disappear. In fact, in fact they, they kind of just get compressed and the black gets compressed. You don't have that full range in that other, other unit. Let me jump to uh, another test pattern. This is a burst image. This is a really tricky uh, image. Lots of uh, ramps across a whole spectrum. And I'm going to change the uh, scope to a vector scope to look at color. Uh, the original you see here, I'm going to hit Roland. There's no difference, uh, no difference in the color space. You've got the, the, full, the full spectrum. If I go back to the original now, now I'm going to go to brand A. And you can see a very fine difference as I wipe through this, very fine line. But you can see what happens now to the colors. Uh, it's, it's very different. 
and that's because that particular unit operates in a different color space. If I go back to the original, now let me look at brand B. And what you'll see here is it's the colors are okay, but the image shifts. So you see a very strong difference right here. You can see a very, that is because the image is shifting over a little bit. You see that if you put a grid up, you uh, lose a line on, on your uh, right side. So that's just a very quick uh, demonstration of what we mean by lossless. When you're working with video at a high level, what you stick into your converter, you want to get out and uh, nothing is compromised. So the VC1 series uh, converters are available right now uh, for you to buy and they're going to allow you to take your production up to that top level whether you need just straight conversion or you need frame sync or delay. So check us out online. Very important microsite that you can get all this information at vc1series.com. Check it out.